Hey guys, in this video I want to show you my latest Gila cap. I already use it for like two or three years now and I really like it. It's quite easy to make Gila cape. I will show you in upcoming videos how to make such a Gila cape. But now at first let's see how this Gila cape looks like and how I made it. This is the inside. As a base I used a German Army FIR net. FIR means far infrared. So this net is infrared safe. I turned it inside out because of this big black spot. Because I don't want to have any black on the outside of my ghillie suit. One big advantage of this kind of net is it doesn't burn. So as soon as the as soon as the flame goes away, it doesn't burn longer. Yeah, that's really cool. I've got two buckles to fix it on my uh, stomach, so it doesn't slip away or rotates. I made small arms, we'll show later when I'm in this cape how they look and you can see I haven't seen anything it's all made with little zip ties so there's still free space between each zip tie the hood also a bit special it has got a buckle in the neck I will show you in a second what advantage this brings also have got a headband so it means the hood is on my head and this band goes, or this cord, goes around my head so the hood cannot slip off or uh, move around. I also have got this elastic gin cord so the hood is fixed on my head. This is the outside of my ghillie cape. For base on the outside I use a Czech camo net. I really like this net because, again, is if the flame goes away, the fire stops. And the look of it is quite natural. I like the colors and this, this mossy look, so it doesn't look like a normal camo net. On this net, there is this fine, like, I think, one inch, one inch net. I attached some burlap to it. Yeah, as you know, the disadvantage of burlap is it burns quite fast, easy, and even if the flame goes away, it burns far farther and further. Also attached some, I'm not sure how it's called in English, I think it's like Hessia. In Germany it's called Bust. It's also some natural stuff. It doesn't soak lots of, a lot of water, but it also burns quite good. I also use this, um, it's like high-tech stuff. It's called Organic Look. I'm not sure what happened to Organic Look, but I think you cannot buy this stuff anymore. The advantage of it is it's infrared safe. And again, as soon as the flame goes away, the fire, <coughs> the fire stops. <laughs> yeah, and these rubber rings are made to attach natural vegetation to the ghillie suit uh, or to the ghillie cape. You can see I have a lot of free space inside here, but it still breaks out the outline really good. And also use this pattern to break out the shoulder, the back and even the head. But I will tell you more about this in my next tutorial on how to make a ghillie cat. Now let's get into detail. I didn't use a lot of burlap, so it's kind of compact. It has got sleeves. So my arms are covered half away. 
so I can still work here with all my camera equipment, rifle and everything and I don't have any annoying burlap or something. It has got a buckle right here. One buckle here because sometimes sometimes if you are crawling a buckle down here can stop. So I attached one buckle here and one here so I can decide which one I use or maybe use both. And also if I'm wearing a chest rig or blade carrier sometimes I only can use one buckle. And this is that the gear cap cannot slide off my back. It has got a hood with the head cord as I shown you before and this gin cord. So the hood is fixed in position, it doesn't slide off, even if I'm crawling through the bushes, it will not snag and pull away my hood. So this is really handy. Okay, you remember the buckle in the neck? So in my neck I've got a buckle, so the hood is only attached on, onto my shoulders. So when I'm laying and I'm stalking, I can place the hood in front of me. And so I can attach natural vegetation or change camouflage on my hood without having to place all the ghillie cape next to me. So uh, while stalking I can do a quick change of the vegetation on my hood. Even if I want to use this ghillie cape as some kind of poncho, I can use a, a separate ghillie hat and use it as a poncho, as you can see. It's also quite handy if you attach lots of vegetation to it, like dry grass or something, and it's heavy and so on. Sometimes if you wear your hood on the back, it will s s um, it would snag to the other bushes and you have all the weight back. So this is sometimes more comfortable to wear a full camouflaged ghillie cape um, when you're walking. Even gives me some other opportunities for observation. I will show you just in a second. So sometimes you have to sit because you are observing over a cover or you are deep inside the forest and just looking outside and sometimes sitting is more comfortable. When you're sitting behind bushes and looking through a loophole, so sometimes this is more comfortable. You can just use my gilly cape. Now I can place this on top of my legs. I can place the hood on my head. I will secure it with my chin strap. And now I can observe through this hole. If I need a bigger hole, I can open this buckle in the neck. Or I can observe through this hole on one side or both sides. And underneath this, I'm sitting like this. So it's quite comfortable and I even can place a free pod with binoculars or with a rifle or something underneath it and now then I can observe with full camouflaged front. Thank you for watching guys. Stay tuned for more ghillie videos. Hope to see you again. Bye.